to Cyril Ramaphosa. Hitmen tried to kill me tonight, whistleblower wrote letter to SA president. South Africa, Twitter what follows is the full unedited letter to South African President Cyril Ramaphosa from a whistleblower named Patricia Morgan Mashale on Facebook. To President Cyril Ramaphosa. So this is how we are going to roll Mr. President, hitmen tried to kill me tonight, and we both know who are behind this second attempt on my life. Let me put it on record now for the whole world to know. I have been pleading with the President of South Africa, Cyril Ramaphosa for protection as a certified whistleblower. I blew the whistle on massive corruption in SAPS, implicating Minister Biki Sell. I do have proof, documentary proof. South Africa and the global world, should anything happen to me, please put it right in front of the door of Cyril Ramaphosa. Arrest him and charge him with my murder because he will be an accomplice in my assassination. Should anything happen to my children or any of my family members, please arrest and charge Cyril Ramaphosa because he would have killed my family. I am not going to be bullied by cowardly hitmen, I will not die in vain like Babita Dikrin. I already provided all my documentary evidence to media houses, and there is reporters who I instructed to release everything in the public should anything happen to me. Biki Sell, the National Commissioner, SAPS Top Management, SSA, Crime Intelligence are all heavily implicated, and all the evidence are with the reporters, ready to be released. On 14 October 2021, my phone had been unlawfully seized on instruction of SSA to access my files. I'm still awaiting the report from the Office of the Inspector General of Intelligence into that investigation that was conducted by Noma Budalese, appointed by Mr. Dint with the former Inspector General of Intelligence. Noma have disappeared after she informed me that Sizi Katwa issued instructions that my phone be seized. I called Sizi Katwa and confronted him about this. The agents of SSA, Justice and Thabiso, informed me that they got instructions from President Cyril Ramaphosa to get information from me regarding ministers in his office. After unlawfully seizure of my phone, they couldn't manage to get access to my files, although they tried to hack into my account, I have proof. Zizi Kotwa met with me and George Mashale in April 2021 at the engine garage on the N1, it was a Tuesday morning after we dropped my son at the boarding school in Trumpsburg. He informed George Mashale that he was sent by Cyril Ramaphosa to get information on ministers in his office, who wanted to sabotage him. According to Zizi, Cyril wanted to get rid of these ministers. He wanted information on Fikul Mbalula and Peel maybe. We told them that we only have information on Biki Cell and provided justice and Thabiso with the information. I still have Thabiso's number we met with them in September 2021, next to a park in Naval Hill. I'm still awaiting the report from the executive director, Jennifer Ndlatsing, into the allegations that the Deputy National Commissioner of Human Resource Management in SAPS, Lt. Gen. Linion Chia, is a Lesotho national. We have proof that Linion Chia was born in Lesotho and have been protected by Cell. According to Ndlatsing her office is done with the investigation, and Cell refused to release the report. I have sent an email to her to release the report to me, and she hadn't responded yet. Two weeks ago, Cell sent an investigator of IDIP to George Mbathu who, initially blew the whistle on. Nchia on which the signature of Thuso Kefeliki the chief investigator of IPID's signature was forged. He called Mbathu and confirmed that that was not his signature on the two-paragraph report, stating that Linio Nchia was born in Matadiel. I have the details of this investigator of IPID, and Thuso Kefeliki advised Mbathu to go and open a case against her. He also registered Mbathu for a reward into the information about 